Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to uh, talk about how you can use uh, Neutrino.js global uh, variables in your application. So basically, these uh, global variables are defined in top level. It means in the window level. So you can access uh, uh, those Neutrino.js global variables uh, in your source files and in your HTML files. Uh, let's check more about uh, those global variables. So uh, I already created uh, a small application, some uh, sample application uh, using new CLI. Uh, if you uh, need to know how you can create uh, Neutrino.js applications using CLI, you can uh, check uh, the previous videos uh, about CLI. Uh, so however, I created uh, a sample application here, but additionally I set uh, this mode Neutrino.js mode into browser so you can uh, see uh, uh, the application launch in the brow browser so I can easily uh, see uh, some uh, Neutrino.js global variables by just entering uh, something on uh, the console let's run this application using new run so the application will be uh, launched in the default browser which is a uh, chrome in uh, this machine I will go to the console so I can uh, type uh, global variable names here usually those uh, global variables are starting with nl keyword nl underscore uh, when you enter nl uh, underscore uh, you can see a set of things uh, for an example let's see nl name it is having test step uh, which is basically the application name uh, defined in the settings JSON as app name here so if we check uh, some other thing like uh, nl port uh, this is the application port in uh, which port the application is currently running it is uh, 8081 as you already see here let's check about uh, another one nlcwd this is the current uh, working directory uh, of your application if you launch uh, the, this application in this directory the, you can see uh, that is uh, defined here so I launch uh, my application uh, from here we have nlos so those things are used in here as well nl name is uh, here and uh, 8081 is the port taken from nl uh, port and this is the one uh, uh, which is uh, uh, defined here nl as nl os there are some other things as well nl version which is the current uh, version of the Neutrino.js server and importantly we have added a new one as well that is nl args this is having all the uh, application uh, arguments that is provided to the process uh, when you are executing the application let's uh, try about uh, this one so I'm going to stop this application just by closing this tab so it will wait some time and automatically close the application instance so here I am going to uh, look more into nl args how you can uh, pass arguments and uh, how you can use those uh, things inside your applications so here uh, if we check about uh, my project directory i can see here uh, test app linux which is the binary version for linux platform which is my current uh, platform that i am using here so i can uh, execute uh, uh, this binary just using the known command uh, dot command uh, 
I need to use the application name here desktop Linux that is same as the uh, new run but I can provide uh, uh, some additional arguments uh, for this one right so if I uh, provide let's say some arguments like uh, a b c equal something or some other flag kind of thing or some value just value so if you enter like that uh, the application will be launched I'm going to check the nil args the content of nil args now the array is having four elements first one is the default one default uh, process uh, command and uh, we have the rest the abc one that I entered uh, earlier and the test mode thing and the test value thing those things uh, I entered earlier right So also uh, you can uh, define your own uh, global variables as well. Let's say if you need to make uh, nl a b c something uh, by yourself, you can do. All you need to do is uh, you just need to go there to the settings JSON file, and you can add uh, property here called globals here you can define your own uh, global variables let's say abc and some value i'm going to save this file and launch the application using new run command it will open the application i will open the console tab to see my global variable custom global variable that i defined earlier that is in labc right so i can see the value here so this is how you can use the uh, global variables and custom global variables uh, in your applications in next video i am going to talk about uh, some application development using uh, Neutrino.js how you can build uh, some kind of uh, advanced application with some views and uh, some more usage of the API of Neutrino.js see you in next video